Today we have 99 Jacob deGrom making his debut and he's the featured card from the new Chase Pack 6. Currently going for over 500,000 stubs. They actually gave him a sinker. This might be one of the best if not the best Jacob deGrom cards we've ever had and he's making his ranked seasons debut right now. And I want to win every ranked seasons game I can because those are the new World Series rewards. We're the home team so we get a pitch first with 99 deGrom. He's facing off against Mike Sorrell. Roca. And to start, I just want to go through every pitch. So literally starting with this four seam fastball, I'm going to try to get a perfect release on all of them, but we're already starting off bad by not getting one with the fastball. We're going to go counterclockwise, go into a slider next. And I got to warm up a little bit. First game of the day for me. Now we're going to go to the curveball. Seeing how this goes, I have definitely not been a person that uses curveballs often unless it's a using 99 Adam Wainwright. Looking for that first strikeout. Going to try to get him chasing a circle change of below the zone. Oh, you know he wanted it. And the final pitch is testing out this new sinker. I feel like they've never given DeGrom a sinker before. Not that I remember. Oh, that has a lot of run on it. Okay, so 3-2 to Jackie. I'm going to go ahead and try to dot him up with the four-seam fastball. I really would love to throw a perfect game today. All right, we've used every pitch. It's a full count to Jackie Robinson. Now I really just don't want to lose my perfect game and there it is after one hitter it's gone but we still have the no hitter going i think i'm gonna try to use his sinker to try to get a double play but my opponents had a pretty good eye so far three straight fastballs 102 on the last one and it's his first strikeout for us oh he's stealing bro i saw it and it's a change up no double play Ooh, could tell could tell Marte, what are we doing buddy we can't just run past the ball like that Wait, he's going home. We got him at home. Let's go. The shutdown is still going. He's trying to catch me slipping, but there's nobody covering first base. And we're one out away from a scoreless first inning, but that was a little bit scary. I thought we had a strikeout. Okay, it's another 3-2 count. This one, it's who could tell Marte, Hammer, and Hank on deck. I hope we don't give up a base hit. There we go. Could tell, two could tell. Definitely did not get a lot of perfect releases that first inning. Got to be more focused the second inning, but it's a scoreless first inning for 99 DeGrom. Oh, man. And Cattell Marte giving him some run support. Playing in New York, I'm not sure if DeGrom is really used to that. But just like that, we're 24 ounce away from his first win of the year for us. Cody Bellinger, lightning card. Gets robbed of a base hit. I thought Frank Thomas might have went yard. Is DeGrom going to be on the mound again? Yes, that's going to be some warning track power. Let's try to have our second scoreless inning for 99 DeGrom. Oh, man, that fastball's nasty. Now, if my opponent starts realizing when and where I'm throwing it, then it might be difficult. But right now, we've got him fooled on that fastball. And Corey Seager, yo. They're teammates now, and you can tell they got that chemistry. That's beautiful. Dun -na -na, na -na -na. I will say so far, his slider, I mean, we're on Hall of Fame difficulty, so I, I'm not sure how it's going to be on Legend either, but so far, his slider just doesn't seem as good as maybe the 21's slider, that all-star card, but it's only a couple innings into this game, and I'm going to go back to this fastball, try to get another strikeout for another scoreless inning. And there it is. Yeah, that fastball is kind of nasty. And Corey Seager is setting us to the top of the third inning. Let's see if DeGrom keeps dealing. That might be a base hit. Yeah, leading off the third. Sinker caught too much of the plates. We're going for a double play. Three and two to Corey Seager following the base hit, and it's strike three. Yeah, that fastball seems to be DeGrom's best pitch right now. And so far, my experience with this DeGrom, I'm struggling to locate his other pitches. Now, that's going to be out number two for us, but y'all saw I didn't get a perfect release on the slider. It didn't really go where I wanted it to. And I'm wondering, anyone of y'all watching this video, have you tried out 99 DeGrom yet? Is anyone experiencing some control issues? A little bit with him but maybe his stuff is just so nasty where he's still going to be pretty dominant that's three scoreless innings to start this game 
Oh, that's getting down. Yeah, Austin Riley. Look at that beautiful swing the other way. 79 speed. It's a leadoff double for us in the bottom of the third. And now Mike Piazza has a no doubt home run. Put some pepperonis on that pizza. And we're winning 3-0. You love to see it. Couple homers for us today, too. DeGrom, I bet he's feeling good with this run support. Look at that swing from J-Ram. Yo, we're kind of hitting the ball well, even on Hall of Fame difficulty. Could tell Marte his second hit of the game. Yo, we're in business right now. I shouldn't have gone to third. I shouldn't have done that. No, we should have done it. We have runners on the corners with nobody down. That's strike three. That's a nasty sinker. And that's the thing that kind of throws me off sometimes about the taller players' strike zones. I kind of forget that those high pitches, yeah, that's definitely in the strike zone. And Frank Thomas, don't be a double play. Anything but a double play. And wow, nothing to show for it in that inning. Or was that the inning where I had a two-run home run? I can't remember if it was the second or the third. And we're one strike away from another strikeout with DeGrom. I might as well go to the fastball. And there it is. Yeah, no, that might be my favorite pitch so far with DeGrom is just his fastball. Lost connection with opponents. There's no way that I'm taking the L for this, right? Let me check to make sure I have internet because if it dropped out, then that might be my fault. And yep, nope, I got internet. So this is going to be a dub, right? Yeah, we got the win. And he actually got to parallel one. Now, personally, I don't care. I actually like it when people rage quit against me overall. It's nice to just get a free win, especially when I'm still making that World Series push. But as a content creator, it does suck seeing DeGrom nearly out of energy. Because if I want to go into another game, he's probably going to get shelled. I don't have time to play two, three, four ranked seasons game to get his energy back up. But to me, it really also doesn't seem like three and a third's innings is a great length for a debut and if anyone wants my initial thoughts on the card pitch control is what we have in the top right it really just did not seem to me like that's what the control was it's saying it's 99 for the slider for the four seamer 95 circle change 92 sinker curveball 88 i could see that but for all the other pitches it did not seem to me like the, that control rating was accurate just based on the size of the par, but I'm not really sure. I don't really have any other pitchers to compare it to. It just felt like his control was not as good as it should be with that good of control on his individual pitches, but the pitches broke a lot. The slider definitely did. The fastball was just disgusting. It seemed like my opponent couldn't touch it, and I'm excited to use him more, but I'm a little bit sad that his debut was so short, but we had a much longer debut for Cody Bellinger that's on screen right here if you haven't seen that. Maybe you'll like one of the other videos on the channel. Subscribe for our daily uploads over six years in a row. Drop a like if you enjoyed this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in one of the other ones on the channel or in tomorrow's daily upload. I love y'all. appreciate y'all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.